anything you grow in life is, is going to be grown through tension, whether it's a plant, whether it's your muscles, whether, you know, your body would atrophy and die without a certain level of gravity on it. So uh, getting comfortable with more and more tension, like a Richard Branson level, you mean, imagine how much tension that guy can handle on a day, right? He's trying to figure out how to fly an airline in space. He, he had a crash recently in the last few years where one of his pilots died. You know, imagine him having to call the parent, the family. You know, he can call any world leader and get him on the phone and go have dinner with him. He can call the president of the United States. He can call the uh, Queen of England. He, he's done this shit, you know, and his level of tension that he get, he, and he gets off on it. If you read his life story, he gets off on it. He gets, if he didn't have it, he would be bored. This is a great story. I'm just going to jump into it because I, I haven't told it in a while. And I love it. It's a, uh, Richard Branson tells the story of um, the first Iraq war was breaking out and they had a bunch of women and children stuck in the airport in, in Iraq, but no, no jets were allowed to go in and out. Everything was on lockdown. They were ready to go into, uh, you know, ready for war to start at any moment. And Richard Branson heard about this. So well, he had his airline, his jets from Virgin Atlantic, and he wanted to fly a jet in there, pick them up and fly out. So he said, how can I make this happen without getting shot down? You know, flying into this, this shut down airspace. So he called the King of Jordan and then had Jordan, some, that King of Jordan contact Saddam Hussein for him and ask him to get permission to fly his jet in there. And then he got a volunteer crew because he didn't want to force anybody to do it, right? He didn't say, I don't want you to, you, nobody's required to do this. If you want to do it, I'll fly on the jet too. He got on the jet himself. And they literally flew in there and they said literally right after they, they took off within a short period of time, the war actually, was actually when the war started. Imagine the amount of tension and management skills it would take to make that happen. Imagine getting on that jet to fly into a war zone, potential war zone. I mean, just what would that feel like to you? But for him, that's, that's life. If you read his life story, his life is filled with stuff like that. And that's why his life is so rich. He creates so much value in the world, he gets paid in cut.